Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting through my 10 must-have summer accessories. I filmed a similar video a couple of weeks ago, chatting through my top 10 summer footwear staples, and I am planning on doing a fashion clothing one as well next week, hopefully. Um, but for today's video, I thought I would focus on my must-have accessories for summer. Everything featured will be linked below in the description box, and like the previous video, I'm also going to be showing some different price options, which will also be linked below. Any questions just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible and if you do enjoy the video I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here but let's get going with the video. Okay so my first summer accessory staple is a basket bag and I think that a basket bag is so practical in summer so useful to have but also looks really stylish at the same time. I got this Celine one a couple of months ago before we went on holiday and I wore it every single day on holiday. I chucked loads in it to go down to the beach or to the pool, um, but it also looked really cute with all of my summer holiday outfits. And equally, it looks great with all of my outfits in the UK as well. Just a simple pair of linen trousers, a white linen shirt, and a basket bag looks really cute. It looks great with all of my summer dresses as well. It would work well with the dress I'm wearing now and just a pair of tan sandals. And because it's really light, I can get loads in there and it doesn't feel like I'm lugging around a really heavy bag. Like I said, this one is Celine. I got this from Farfetch a couple of months ago. It did sell out really quickly. They do sometimes have the odd one back in stock. So if I can find it, I will leave it linked below. But I also think that the Loewe basket bag is a really great alternative. Very similar shape, very similar style with the tan details and the tan strap as well. I, I particularly like having the tan straps and the um, leather detail on there because I wear a lot of tan accessories in spring, summer, and this ties in really well to a lot of my outfits. I also love the new Loewe Anagram basket bag. I think they've done a collaboration with Paula's Ibiza and that's a really lovely style. And then for a more affordable option, H&M have got this gorgeous basket bag with the white strap detail. I think it also comes in black as well with the black straps going round and it's a really great dupe for the YSL basket bag. This woven basket bag from Matches also looks gorgeous and I love the fact that it's got a shorter strap and a longer strap as well so you can wear it over your shoulder or hold on to it and that bag's around £130, so a great kind of in-between designer and high street price point. And then Amazon Fashion have also got some really great options. I love this woven bag with the circular hand detail. I think that looks beautiful. And they've also got a great dupe for the Loewe basket bag as well. Very similar style with the tan detail, but obviously without the Loewe branding. Okay, my next summer staple is a tan belt. And if you saw my footwear video, you will have seen I mentioned I love how tan accessories look in summer. Tan sandals I wear a lot, and I love how they look teamed with a tan belt or a tan bag or like the basket bag with the tan details on there. And I love how much they can really bring an outfit together, especially a simple outfit like linen trousers and a white shirt or jeans and a t-shirt styled with a tan belt, tan sandals and a tan bag can make a really put together outfit um, and just very effortlessly stylish. So I have got this belt from Amazon Fashion. I got this last year and I've worn it lots. I love the style of it. It was a real bargain. I think it was about 12 or 13 pounds. I got it in the tan and the black and I've equally worn the black loads as well. And you can either wear it simply like this or you can loop the end through and wear it like that instead. I do love the style of this one, but it isn't leather. So I'm currently on the lookout for a better quality tan leather belt. Obviously you can get the Isabel Morant leather belt, which is a very similar style to this. In fact, I think that this is a dupe for that belt. But obviously the Isabel Morant belt is leather and it's going to be better quality than this one. But I'm considering either investing in this tan Celine belt, which I love the style of, or the Loewe tan belt as well. I love the contrast stitching on the Loewe belt. Um, so those two are on my wish list at the moment. I'm just trying to decide which one I prefer. And then for a more affordable option, I spotted this gorgeous belt from H&M. It's $12.99, it is leather. It's got the gold buckle and it just looks like a really lovely simple style and will go with lots of different summer outfits. 
Okay, next up is a straw hat. And I love a straw hat in summer, especially when I'm on holiday. If I'm laying in the sun reading, I love a big straw hat to protect my face from the sun. But I also love how a straw hat can look styled with a simple summer outfit as well. So I've got a couple here to show you. First of all, this one from H&M. I got this last year, maybe even the year before last. Um, but H&M have got some really similar styles this year that I will link below as an alternative. I think that this was under 15 pounds. Um, but it took this away with me recently when we were in Mauritius and there was the biggest downpour one day and this hat got absolutely drenched. So it's a little bit misshapen now. So I am looking to find a good alternative um, because I don't think that this is going to be saved very easily. Uh, but I love the fact that this has got a nice big rim. So it's super like protects you from the sun on holiday. Um, and just also looks great with like little summer dresses or bikinis, swimwear as well. And then this one I got from And Other Stories again around a year ago now. Um, and I also took this away with me recently and it got a little bit, a little bit crushed in my suitcase on the way home. So I'm going to try and stuff it and see if I can get the shape back. Um, but I love how this style of straw hat looks just with a simple summer outfit, maybe like denim shorts and a t-shirt, little straw hat and sandals. I think maybe this style is slightly easier to wear with a simple summer outfit. Um, obviously I got this over a year ago, it's no longer available. They have got some similar options from And Other Stories, um, but I also spotted a really great alternative from Mango. It's $29.99 and quite a similar shape to this looks really lovely and then amazon fashion have also got some great straw hats as well for under 20 pounds some of them are under 10 pounds um, i thought this one was really lovely with a slightly bigger floppy rim similar to this hat and then they've also got this style with a slightly smaller rim and you can get it with either a black or a white ribbon and again that was under 20 pounds okay next up is a tote bag and i use this tote bag so much in summer it is so practical if i'm going out for the day and i need to take lots with me if i'm going to the beach and i want to shove in food and a towel and a blanket or suntan lotion i can stuff this full it's just super practical super hardy as well um, and it just gets so much use in summer i got this from and other stories the year before last they do bring out a very similar version each year so if they've got one already this year i will pop it up here and i'll leave it linked but i also spotted a really great similar alternative from jigsaw it's a very similar style it looks a little bit more structured um, but it looks gorgeous and i think it's 130 pounds i would also love to know your thoughts on the chloe woody tote i go back and forth on it sometimes i love it and i think yeah i'm going to invest in one i'll use it loads it's super like it's a really lovely structured shape and then sometimes i think the big branding like the chloe all over the straps is a little bit too much for me um so let me know your thoughts on that bag i have considered purchasing that because i do think I would get a lot of use out of it, especially considering how much I use this. And not just in summer as well, all year round. I think because um, I would probably go for the black and cream style, I think you can then wear it all year round as well. Um, so I think that's a really lovely, more luxury alternative for a tote bag. I also think the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche tote bags are really gorgeous. They do quite a few different styles of those. They've got the um, slightly more of like a woven kind of straw tote and then they've got like the classic style i think it's white with black writing they've also got more of like a cream with beige writing as well um and i think that's a really lovely kind of classic tote that comes out year after year h&m have got a bit of a dupe for the dior tote bag it comes in black and navy and it's kind of got a bit of a jungle print on it and then they've also got a black and beige striped tote that looks great. Similar-ish style to this one from And Other Stories, but again, it's only $24.99. It looks really structured as well, and I just think it looks like a really lovely style, and I think that's going to sell out really quickly. So I will leave it linked below, um, but I wouldn't hang about if you like that one. And then the final tote that I wanted to mention is this one from Arquette, and it's kind of a mix between a tote bag and a basket bag really oversized super practical and i feel like it would work with a lot of summer outfits as well and it is 89 pounds okay my next summer staple is chunky or statement gold jewelry 
and if you follow my channel already i'm sure you'll know that i love gold jewelry i wear gold pieces all year round i've got some rings um, from a jewelry and bracelets that i leave on all the time i wash in them i sleep in them i usually have gold necklaces on as well but i took them off because i had these earrings in today um, but i love my gold jewelry all year round but in summer i love how statement chunky pieces of gold jewelry look i just think with a very simple summer outfit a pair of statement gold earrings or a chunky necklace can really make an outfit and really kind of bring an outfit to life so i've got a few of my favorite statement gold pieces of jewelry to show you first of all this chunky necklace from monica Vinida, and i wear this all year round it's just a very simple chunky chain but it's actually a charm necklace so all of these links at the bottom open up and then you can add different charms to it i tend to just leave it either plain or in the summer i add this one beautiful gemstone charm and I feel like it just makes it that little bit more summery, that little bit more of a statement holiday or summer piece of jewellery. And whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments. I've also got the matching earrings as well, like little gemstones that look lovely styled together with it. Another favourite piece is actually a newer piece from Monica Vinida, and it's this flat linked chain. And again, this looks gorgeous, just styled with a very simple little dress or with a shirt and trousers, just gives it that pop of brightness to an outfit. I've got a couple of chunky gold bangles on, which again are from Monica Vinida, and I wear these all year round, but particularly love how they look with a summer outfit. And then I've also got the matching ring to this larger bangle, and I love how these pieces look styled together in summer. And then for earrings, a couple of my favorite statement summer earrings. First of all, this beautiful pair of mother of pearl hoops. And again, these just look so great with little summer dresses or summer outfits. And then I also love the style of these chunky gold hoops, especially on holiday. They are a really beautiful, like hammered gold hoop. And then these little green gems are removable as well. So you can either wear them as just a simple pair of chunky gold hoops, or you can add the little great green stone to add a pop of color. By the way, this isn't an ad, but I do have ongoing discount codes with Monica Vinida and Majuri, where all of the pieces I've shown you are from. So I will leave both of the discount codes in the description box below, along with links to all of my jewelry. Okay, next up is definitely not the most glamorous one, but a very practical staple, especially for me. And it is a basic cap. And I wear these so much in summer. Every evening, well, pretty much every evening, Lou and I go out for an evening walk. And nine times out of 10, I will have a cap on. I just find them so easy to chuck on to protect my face in the sun. Um, so comfortable to wear and obviously just very practical. And most of the time I've got on trainers and shorts if we're going out for a summer evening walk. So I'm not about to style up a very simple outfit with a straw hat. And so for me, caps are so practical in the summer, especially if I'm in and out of the garden as well, if I'm gardening or if I'm just sitting in the garden having a coffee, I will always have a cap on. In fact, I've worn it so much that it used to be this colour and it's now a very faded black. I obviously left the sticker on. Lou told me you're supposed to leave the sticker on. I don't know why I left it on, but it fell off and now I've got this patch here. Um, but I did also have it, or I do also have it in the plain black as well with just this bit in black too, which I prefer. But again, that has got super faded as well. Um, but I do also have it in green and beige too. But I tend to wear the black one more. And so I think I'm going to order this one from Farfetch, this Anine Bing cap. It is £39, but you can use my discount code to get an additional 10% off. I'll pop that in the description box below. Um, but I just think it's a little bit nicer and I can style it with some more summer outfits. Um, but the only thing I would say is it looks like a kind of, it looks like a slightly less structured fit, a little bit loose. So I'm not sure how it will fit on, but I'm going to order it and give it a go. Okay, next up is a small straw bag. And I've got a couple of options here to show you. First of all, this one from Amazon Fashion. I got this around a month ago now, and I just spotted it online. It was under 30 pounds, and I just thought the style of this was so perfect for a little summer day bag, perfect on holiday, but equally you could wear this of an evening with a, like a nice white maxi dress. And I just think it's a really versatile, simple little summer day bag that goes with so many different outfits. It's got these two circular straps, so obviously you can just hold it in your hand, or it's also got a long shoulder strap as well, so you can wear it on one shoulder 
or crossbody. Now I have just tied a knot either side on the strap if you can see, just because the strap isn't adjustable and it was a little bit long for me. So I thought I'd tie a knot either side and it makes it sit perfectly for me like this. Uh, but this is also removable as well. So you can unclip it. You could switch it up for a gold chain or even like a tan leather strap if you've got one from another bag that you wanted to pop on instead. The only thing I would say is that it hasn't got a zip closure or a popper or anything to keep it closed so it doesn't feel the most secure. And then another alternative is this simple straw clutch bag. And I'd say that this works slightly better for more evening outfits just because personally I don't like using clutch bags during the day too much. They're not the most practical to hold under your arm. But of an evening on holiday, I use this so much. And again, it looks cute with like little dresses with just simple shorts and shirts or kind of even with, I had like patterned floral dresses and it worked really well with those. It's just a great, simple holiday evening bag. It's also from Amazon Fashion. It was under, I think it was around 20 pounds. And it's just got a little popper closure and it fits everything you need in it to take, well, everything I needed for an evening on holiday. And then a couple more luxury options that I spotted. First of all, this Saint Laurent Raffia shoulder bag, which looks really lovely, but it is, I think it's 1,400 pounds. For me personally, it's a bit too much to be spending on a straw bag. If I'm spending that much on a bag, then I would want it to be leather. I also spotted this YSL bag, which I think was around 700 pounds. So a more reasonable price point for a YSL bag. Um, and it's kind of like a mix of tan leather and raffia as well. I thought that was a cute little summer bag. And then I also spotted this one from Aspen of London, which I love the style of. It's a very similar style to the YSL Cassandra bag, but I think that the YSL Cassandra bag you can get in the raffia and the black, but I like the fact that this Aspinall of London bag comes in raffia and like a tan um, leather as well, which I thought was great for summer, would go with lots of different outfits and it was around 500 pounds, whereas the Cassandra bag, I think it's 1,700. Um, so there's some more kind of luxury summer alternatives if you're looking to spend a bit more. Okay, next up is an obvious one, but an absolute summer staple is a good quality pair of sunglasses. And I've actually got a basket here full of sunglasses. I'm gonna go show you a few of my favorite pairs, but do let me know if you'd like to see a, maybe like a sunglasses collection video. Um, but a few of my favorite pairs of sunglasses that I get so much wear out of each summer. First of all, my Ray-Ban rounds. These are just, they come out year after year. They don't date. They go with so many different outfits. They look great just with simple outfits. They look great with dresses. I think they suit so many different face shapes. They're comfortable to wear. And I can see myself wearing these year after year after year. They don't date. I've seen, I mean, this style has been popular for a long time now and they don't seem to be going anywhere. And they do come in different sizes as well. I think that this is the smallest size, but I will leave this exact style linked below. Um, and they're not a bad price point as well, considering the quality of them and like the timelessness of them. You can Usually you can pick these up for around 80 pounds from Amazon Fashion, um, sometimes 70-ish, sometimes a little bit more, but I'll try and find them for the best price I can and leave them linked. But I love my Ray-Ban rounds. And in fact, so much so that I also got this pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses last year, maybe even a year before now. Um, but because I got so much wear of that style, I thought that I would also get a lot of wear out of these. And these were similar-ish styles, so a little bit rounded, but they've got a hexagonal, hexagonal shape to them, a little bit bigger. Uh, these are more of like a brownie gold as well, whereas my Ray-Ban rounds are slightly more of a greeny tone, I would say. Um, but I wear both of these equally. They're just yeah, again, a very, I say that these are a little bit more timeless, but I just think that these are a great style and again, suit a lot of face shapes as well. And I love that brownie gold tone of them. And then I'd say my other most worn style at the moment, and I feel like these are definitely a bit of a love it or hate it pair because they are quite an oversized sunglass, but it is these Gucci glasses. And the reason I love these is because they're huge and they cover so much of my face. So if I am sitting out in the garden and having a coffee or sitting out reading, these are great because they are gigantic. They cover so much of my face. They're comfortable to wear and I love the way they look as well. But I don't think that these are going to be for everyone, especially not with the pearl earrings. But they are just plain black and then they have got the Gucci branding on the side. And I think these also come 
in tortoise shell as well and they're great for holidays when you want your face covered too and the case is lovely as well oh and also these Marc Jacob ones I wear these a lot as well just because they're a very simple style they go with so many outfits just a plain black pair of sunglasses not quite as oversized as the Gucci ones um, and I just yeah I find they're very comfortable to wear and just easy to throw on as well so I get a lot of wear out of those but I won't show you all of them um, but I just think that a good quality pair of sunglasses is worth investing in even if it's just one pair obviously this is a little bit excessive my collection um, but just one pair that you think really suits your face shape I just think it makes a big difference having a good quality pair of glasses with good lenses that are protecting your eyes um, and they're nice to sit and read in and just, yeah, that is for me an absolute summer staple. Okay, I've just got two more to go and next up is a bit of a multi one. I've kind of crammed three things into one, so I'll try and keep it as quick as possible. Um, but next up is hair accessories. So first of all, silk scarves. I wear these a lot in summer, especially on holiday. I love the way that a silk scarf like this can look tied around a ponytail. In fact, I actually filmed a recent reel where I just had on jeans and a simple white shirt, tied this around my ponytail, and I felt like it really made the, like it just gave that little something special to a very simple outfit. So I love how they look styled like that in summer. But equally, you can fold them up and wear them as like a headband, especially if I had like a little bit of hair down at the front, I wouldn't wear it with my hair like this. But you could also tie one around a bun, or I would also, with this little straw bag, you can tie it on the edge of the handle, just a little, a little knot like that, and have it just draping down to add a little bit extra to the bag especially if you had on like say if you were wearing an orange dress and you wanted to bring in the orange on your bag you get a little orange um silky scarf tie it to a little basket bag and it just brings the outfit together you can also tie them around your hat as well like if you had a long thin one you could tie it around the rim of a straw hat to bring an outfit together too and then if they're big enough maybe not this one but i have got some that are a little bit bigger that also work well as a little crop top as well you can tie them around your neck i just think silk scarves in summer are so multi-purpose and can be styled so so many different ways and just a really great summer accessory staple. Both of those silk scarves I've had for a while, but and other stories have got some really similar styles at the moment. They're currently in the sale as well. They've got like a black and white one, like more predominantly black, and then one that's more kind of predominantly white as well, and some other like gorgeous bright colored options too. Mango have also got some really lovely ones, and H&M as well, so I will find some great alternatives to link. And then sticking with hair accessories, I also love these knotted headbands in summer. I think on holiday, I tend to like wear my hair in a bun with a little bit down, pop one of these on, and it just makes an outfit, I mean, not like this, but it just makes an outfit look that little bit more summery. If you've just got on a little white dress or a black dress, this can bring an outfit together. And then another hair accessory that I wear a lot in summer are these claw clips. And these are just so practical, but also look really lovely at the same time, just if you've got your hair half up, half down, twisted up into like a bun or just twisted back. I got a pack of four recently from Amazon Fashion, too big and too small for around five pounds. So I will leave these links. I think my favorite are like the lighter ones. Um, but I just think they're so handy in summer. And then as I did with the footwear video, I kind of debated as to what to feature for number 10 but I settled on a white or cream bag. And for me, I use this bag so much in summer. I use it all year round anyway, but in summer, I tend to reach for a cream or a white bag to go with a lot of my outfits. Like the dress I'm wearing now, despite this being white and blue, I still think this cream bag works really well with it. And this bag just works with so many of my summer outfits. So much so that I'm definitely planning on investing in another white bag this summer. This one is Coach. I got this the year before last, I believe. Maybe last year. But I've worn it so much. It's just a really great style. It fits loads in. It's got this strap and then it also comes with a long crossbody or shoulder strap as well. And you can have them both on at the same time or one or the other. It's got this little pocket at the front. And then in the middle, it's got a pocket either side, a section in the middle and a little slot at the back and then another pocket at the back. So I love the fact that I can use this during the day 
or of an evening as well. It works really well both ways. A couple of more affordable options. First of all, this one from Mango. It's in an off-white kind of braided style. It is $59.99 and I feel like it's a little bit of a dupe for a Bottega Veneta bag. I spotted this one from And Other Stories. It's £75. It's leather and it does come in lots of other colours as well. And again, it's got that slightly designer feel to it. And then I also spotted this one. It is £59 and I thought it was a really lovely kind of summery style. I think it's in like a crochet fabric with gold detail. And yeah, I just thought it was a nice little summer bag for a great price. And then if you are looking to spend a bit more on a designer bag, I think that the Chloe Marcy bag is a really lovely little summer bag. And I also love the YSL Cassandra in off-white. I have been eyeing that up for a while now. In fact, I'd love to know your thoughts on this one, if you think it's worth investing in, if you like the style of it. Um, I just think it's a really, really lovely summer bag. And again, I think one of those pieces that I would wear all year round as well. So that is kind of on my wish list next. But they are all 10 of my summer wardrobe staples, summer must-haves, just pieces that I wear a lot throughout summer and are staples in my wardrobe. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you could subscribe. And I'd love to know if you feel like I left anything out, if there's a real kind of summer wardrobe staple that I haven't mentioned that you feel like I've missed out, do leave a comment below and let me know. As I mentioned before, everything featured will be linked below in the description box. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.